Marvel Future Revolutions, man, in the last week, they've been teasing like so much content coming into the game. And guys, this like game has so much hype around it. I think, and I'm pretty certain of this, I'm going to be covering this game on this channel. I just kind of feel like it would be nice to do one MCOC, so Marvel Contest of Champions video, and then follow up with like a secondary video in Marvel Future Revolution, or maybe like one or the other. Stream-wise, I think I'll be streaming on Twitch, and then creating VODs, which will be uploaded and kind of like cut up into certain things, if there's things like raiding PvP stuff that goes relatively well. So, as, as a lot of you know, I'm very hyped for this game, very much looking forward to but there's been a lot of things as I said teased by the developer we need to go over including a PvP mode now there's gonna be people out there that want to see like a beta they want to see more footage they want to see like when the game's released there's nothing at the moment the game is still meant to be released in June so that's meant to be like a month's time but I think they'll probably kind of ex kind of like stretched out a little bit uh, I'm a little bit disappointed to see a lot of people offering things like beta access and, and in fact what they're doing is they're trying to number one drive clicks to the video and the second thing is drive clicks to their site and the third thing is as soon as you click on said links for what it seems to be the APK yeah it doesn't work and actually leads you, leads you to the site for Marvel Future Revolution so it's kind of annoying don't fall victim to that lot of that stuff that it's no link and I'm disappointed to see people doing this so I'm just talking about the stuff that's factual and is out there and when a beta is released I'm sure that we'll all have access or they'll go live with no beta and have everybody in at one given time. That would be good, but as well, it's going to be a bit scary for the developer to give that level of kind of uh, access to everybody in a very quick space of time. On screen now is what is being dubbed by the developers as being this kind of PvP uniforms outfit. One, this, well, actually, there's many things striking. I love the Storm. The Storm is very much kind of like uh, 80s style Storm, I, I want to say, but uh, very much like what we've seen from the movie version, which I think is, is pretty cool. But this is a bit odd. Uh, Doctor Strange Hydra. Yeah, that's that's kind of like a bit... Oh, okay. Uh, a bit freaky. I absolutely love this. This is like bumblebee transformers version of spider-man which i think is is really sick it's like a it's a really different take on like a battle armor and i love it the nova well i assume this is nova but it's like nova outfit star lord yeah it's an odd mix i'm kind of liking it to a degree but i think it's kind of weird because like these look like the uh, blasters of star lord but it's like all in a nova type style especially with the Nova uh, Corp symbol, I want to say, uh, and then yeah, the, the other stuff. So that's odd but cool. This is Sakar version of Captain Marvel. I, you know, I really love this. I think this is just unique. It's unique in every kind of way. We're going to bring into shot now the Iron Man. Well, I don't know. What, this is again like a very kind of like odd take on Iron Man. I can imagine from looking at front end with these two kind of like spikes here, it'd be like a Batman version of of Iron Man, which is again cool, and just another kind of very good retro with uh, LED light of uh, Black Widow, which I think we've seen in uh, some movies in the past. Either way, this is this is very, very exciting. Now, Danny Wu, who is the director and product development for Marvel Games or some sort of association with Marvel Future Revolution, maybe even Netmarble and the studio that's taken on, I'm 100% I'm like unsure on this, it's given me like a lot of excitement here, saying that uh, look at all these awesome costumes, PvP confirmed. So these may be costumes that you can get or they're in the PvP section, and maybe you can like build them like gears, uniform and whatever, like you get to kind of like change the look or add, I don't think add pass, but I think it may be kind of like you keep the look, but change the socket system, like change the skin, but then what you socket into very different places is it's kind of like how it is. Again, it's just speculation and we're still yet to see anything more. But then going down, you're looking at the stuff here to give you more of a, cla a classification of what's going on. Okay, that makes sense. A Xander Earth Star-Lord, Ends of the Earth Spidey, Sakaar Captain Marvel, 80 Storm, so we've got that, Hydra Empire Doctor Strange, Fear Itself Black Widow, and Migardia Iron Man. Wow, okay. So that's... That's, that explains that, but that's really cool. Lots more costumes coming, uh, like a lot, like a lot more. Okay, that's 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 cool. That's cool because these are all the playable characters I think we know of. But I think there's there's going to be some more. There's got to be some more. But these will be the playable characters on 
on launch. Man, I am excited for this game. I really am. But let's have a look at some of the other things because Marvel Future Revolution said they were going to like do a, a thing a day, like an image a day or some kind of like thing a day. And it's haven't done any more playable character stuff like videos wise. So what are the other stuff? Well, the weird thing about this one is it says the earth will be born anew. Take care of it, my friends. It was an honor saving the world with you. Like, I don't know if this was like Earths are colliding or it's like uh, an earth from an alternate like dimension or multiversal type earth kind of colliding, especially from the way that it kind of uh, is it's kind of shown in the in the trailer. Similar like uh, Marvel Contest Champions has Marvel Realm of Champions in this kind of shared universe. I don't know if this is again is a similar narrative to the story structure, especially from what we've seen in the trailers. One of the other major things is that Thanos is going to be like a villain. I mean, that makes total sense that we'd be facing off against something of a mighty villain like Thanos. And if we're doing some kind of like raiding based thing where like, you know, uh, you, you watching this video, we might be kind of like teaming up, raiding something in particular that takes down Thanos. Man, I cannot wait for this open world narrative. It's something that I've always wanted to see from a Marvel game. And with the Marvel, uh, I think it's, what was it, Marvel Heroes Online or something like that, Marvel Heroes type game. It was just felt like that we need something. And I feel like a mobile version, if we can get the blue stack side of things like chilled that we can actually play on blue stacks i think this game is going to be just one of the best marvel marvel mobile games that'll be coming out you've also got the, this here with like hydra backdrop and whether or not again that's a playable kind of mode or open world exploration which i'd love so in the last surviving remnant of the world where america lost world war ii hydro hydro america's citizens cower under the tyrannical rule of the red skull is there no hope but i can imagine red skull might be a playable enemy we also had a Modok character, so even though it says Villain Spotlight, I, we haven't, we don't know any kind of things about like abilities and stuff, especially because in Marvel Contest of Champions that means something different. But man, I, I am so looking forward to this, and I think the the other two is that we had this fantastic backdrop here. I'm looking forward to playing in this city, which is New Stark City, and it's protected by Ultron Sentry robots. Guess whose idea that was? We well, you know exactly, and it's the home of a mega flight. So okay, cool. Like we've we've got a more kind of like, <sighs> I love this. This is one of my favourite ones. When I first saw them, kind of like, uh, like releasing these images, this to me is very much kind of like a battled version or kind of like it, it looks like Tom Hiddleston. Like I'm a massive Tom Hiddleston fan, a massive Loki fan. I think Tom Hiddleston is an amazing actor and was just the best fit for Loki, even though he was going to be Thor. You all know it. Uh, if you've seen those audition um, uh, videos, it's, it's so hilarious. But at the same time, he, he put all, all kind of effort into it. And I'm so glad he kind of he, he went into being Loki because this just... And then going down the line, like, this is very MCU version meets uh, more of a kind of like a battle armor version or maybe kind of like uh, this Midgard type, um, whatever it is, that the same thing that... Iron Man has and a few others as well. It looks great. It looks great. So, yeah, those are the little kind of like images and teasers and stuff that Marvel Future Revolution have done in the past week. I thought it'd be best to do like a video just to kind of like bring all this stuff together and kind of look at what they're teasing. I really want some more info from the game and especially when it being like a month, maybe two months until this video is uh, this game is released. You know, it's um. It's time to ramp it up. Like I want to, I want to see more. And as well, I'm sure a lot of you want to see a beta. And if we get a beta uh, for kind of like playing, then yeah, that's gonna be great. I'm happy they're taking a long time with this. But what happened with Marvel Realm of Champions? What's happened with the likes of Cyberpunk 2077? Even though that was a pain game, you had to like play the old Do Re Mi's. The fact is, we need to see more info. But at the same time, take your time. Deliver a, a spot on game that all these players that are hyped for it want to see. So yeah, exciting times ahead, but still we want to see more. Thanks for watching this video. Please check out some of the other Marvel Future Revolution content that I've posted, which I, I might put up there or something, so go and check that out. And uh, yeah, we look forward to, uh, to more info coming very soon. Bye-bye.